Saturday morning. Turkey hunt this morning, separate video. Dad and I are up here at the farm. Bluebird day, windy. But we're headed uh, down here to check out some pine beetle damage. The trees are actually starting to come down now. So Dad's been up here and I've been back there in the stand, but we're gonna start this day off. Little things there came back here. Oh yeah. Huh? The old fig tree. Yeah. I guess the deer don't like to eat that. Good. So we just get in the truck yeah. and <laughs> turkey turkey runs across the road. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. So there's another pine beetle infestation down here on this on the other side. Well, it's actually in a national forest. It is? Yeah. And uh the trees were, it's obvious that they've been dead for a while, but now they're starting to fall. Hmm. Yeah. So all these pine trees. These things look like they've been cut. Huh? Yeah. So all these, a lot of logs on the ground and uh, they've been cut with chainsaws. So either they did it preventatively to keep them off these power lines, because here's the power line right here in the middle of the road. But look at all these trees. Look at all them. Yeah, somebody came back here and just cut them down just to get rid of them mm -hmm. from falling. I'll just cut it. Yeah. I, they've all been cut. Right. Yeah, so these trees have been cut at the stumps. I mean, sad, definitely pine beetles, but somebody cut them down. So either the power company has done this or the forestry service, but it's just right here. But there's trees literally 10 feet off the road behind the ones they've cut that they left standing. So I don't really I don't understand this. No, sorry, I thought I saw a turkey down the road. Yeah, you, I don't know if you can hear it, but that wind is just hot, blowing. Definitely a windy day. That might have been what messed me up on the turkeys. Oh look, there's more down here. Anyhow, all these trees are dead. So somebody has come in here and cut, because here's the power line. Yeah. And cut all these trees down. Every one of them's cut by chainsaw and just laid them over. Now granted, these trees were, I think, dead. Of course, I don't see any signs, but uh, looking at it, there's no greenery. So maybe pine, little pine beetle. Yeah, because there's dead trees back out in there. Pine beetles? Yeah, pine beetles, all this. Mm -hmm. But all these trees have been cut every one of them and pushed over. Same with down on the curve by our place.
see how it works for a lot of our trees that way. So that was just a little bit of footage of uh, evidently either Berkeley Electric, which is our local power company that's responsible, responsible for all these lines, uh, has come and cut all the pine beetle infestation trees down close to the power lines. However, there's trees still close to the power line and if they fell, it would hit them. So they went and cut quite a bit of trees and just pushed them over which is uh, you know i mean they're gonna fall anyway but if they're gonna cut them down at least they could clean them up you know this is the money somebody's got to pay for it anyhow uh we're back here at the camp and i found a honey bun in my truck so with that being said i'm gonna eat this honey bun and enjoy my uh soda and I'm going, dad is in the back behind the cabin, piddling. So anyhow, bring something else to you, okay? Tell you what, it's 10:30 and it's still cold, but the sun is definitely up. Uh, so we're in April now, and the hummingbirds are starting to come around. So we're going to put feeders out. See if any come. That's a good question. Can anybody measure that one? Shit, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. All right. You got a little Phillips head screwdriver? How's that? Squirrel proof. So I'm a bit used to that. Maybe I had the good one after all. Okay, we got our two little bird feeder hole thingies made.
A little frog. Got a little nest going in there. Yeah. Tempted nest. Oh, that's good. Let's go ahead and take that off. And that yeah. hole is too big. Replace it. Yeah. So every time we come to the bluebird box, if we're putting these little protectors on it so the squirrels can't chew the holes bigger or whatever's trying to get in there. Um, she's got a nest in there and she's in the tree now actually, but we've got that shiny plate on it now and I hope it doesn't scare her off. But uh, I'm gonna keep an eye, see if she goes in there. She probably will. So she's right here in the tree. Oh man, she's itching so bad to get in there. I can tell. All right, now she's on the limb right above the box. She's checking out that plate. Yep, no problem. All right, got some dead batteries. Got it? All right, hummingbird feeders are up. Bluebird boxes are fixed with the proper size inch and a half hole. So we can get some more bluebirds up here because God knows we need something to help control mosquitoes. All right, let's cook some lunch. So usually when it's an orange flame like this, that means something has crawled up in there and you got to get it out. Hello? Yeah. Gas? Uh-huh. I don't know.
right, here's something that's pretty damn funny. So as you saw, this flame is burning orange only because the air is somehow clogged up in this uh, orifice here. And look, 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 look. It's eight, count eight carpenter bees, nine carpenter bees that have come out of there. They got that whole damn thing plugged up. Yeah. You hear what I said about the carpenter bees? Nine. Nine. Came out of this gas burner hole. Are you serious? Because the flame was orange. Yeah. And I knew something had crawled up in there. Usually they have. All this, all this uh, winter, everything, nothing, I worked, it worked fine last week. They started crawling out of there, nine of them. Look, here comes another one. So now, now we're up to 10 carpenter bees. And there's still another one in there. Mashed potatoes, corn. Cube steak. Oh yeah. That is corn cube steak. Mm. How many pieces? We got six, I think, total. We need to find us some knives. Yeah, you want some more mashed potatoes? Lunch was amazing. Actually, that was dinner. We don't have no hot water. No, we sure don't. No hot water. Yeah, they're all piling back up. So all these bees are starting to come back. So there's the griddle hanging up there. But I sprayed uh, wasp spray up in there. They don't like it. Yeah. As well as a comfy outside space, perfect for 
Well, the crews are stopped by to pay us a visit. The buzzards, but of course I have no food for them. The carpenter bees are still trying to go back into this thing right here. That's the little griddle or grill gas fire burner that I use to cook lunch. I hang it up there so it's out of the weather. But the orifices that go up in there, they love to make a nest in there. So sometimes you just gotta gas them out. No turkeys, zero, and two hummingbirds. So I've seen a male and a female hummingbird since we put the feeders out. It's uh, April, what, 5th, April 6th, and uh, first ones of the year. All right, guys, we're going to call it a day. We had a great lunch, as you saw, and things just tapered off from there because uh, I've been up since three, three close to four this morning to get up here to go turkey hunting. And uh, yeah, we're heading home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't bring you any action on the turkeys, but maybe next weekend, okay? Thank you for subscribing. Give me a like if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.